Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you the angles formed by a transversal between two parallel lines. Here in the model we can see we have lines L and M parallel to each other and line M is the transversal which intersects the two parallel lines at two different points. As we can see at each point we have four different angles which are formed and hence we have eight angles in all. Now I am going to show you the angles which form different pairs. So we have the first pair is of corresponding angles. If the arms on the transversal of one pair of angles is in the same direction and the other arm is in the same side of the transversal then it is known as a pair of corresponding angles. We can see in the models the angles which are shown in the same color like angle 1 and angle 5 shown in green color, angle 2 and angle 6 shown in purple color, angle 3 and angle 7 shown in blue color and angle 4 and angle 8 which are shown in red color are all pairs of corresponding angles. When a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of corresponding angles are equal hence we can say angle 1 will be equal to angle 5, angle 2 will be equal to angle 6, angle 3 will be equal to angle 7 and angle 4 will be equal to angle 8. Now I am going to show you the other, the second pair of angles. Now we have the second pair which is known as alternate interior angles. If the angles are formed between the two parallel lines but on the opposite side of the transversal then it is known as alternate interior angles. Here in the model we can see the angles which are shown in the same color that is angle 3 and angle 6 shown in green color and angle 4 and angle 5 shown in purple color these are the two pairs of alternate interior angles. When a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles are always equal hence we can say angle 3 will be equal to angle 6 and angle 4 will be equal to angle 5. Now we have the third pair of angles which I am going to show you now. This pair of angle is known as alternate exterior angles. If the angles are formed on the outer side of the parallel lines but on the opposite side of the transversal then it is known as alternate exterior angles. In the model we have angles of the same color that is angle 1 and angle 8 and angle 2 and angle 7. These are the two pairs of alternate exterior angle. When a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of alternate exterior angles are always equal and hence here in the model we can say angle 1 will be equal to angle 8 and angle 2 will be equal to angle 7. We have one more pair of angles. This pair of angle is known as interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal is also known as co-interior angles. Here in the model we can see angles of the same color that is angle 3 and angle 5 and angle 4 and angle 6, these are the two pairs of co-interior angles. We know that when a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then the co-interior angles, each pair of co-interior angles are supplementary, that is, they add up to 180 degree. So, in the model, we can say angle 3 plus angle 5 will be equal to 180 degree and similarly, angle 4 plus angle 6 will also be equal to 180 degree. So, it will be helpful in understanding the different angles formed by a transversal between two parallel lines. Thank you.